How does one go about moving 70 Clydesdale horses halfway across the country? That was what John Soto was dealing with back in 2008 when Anheuser-Busch decided to move their West Coast breeding operation to Cooper County. It was, it was, it was, it was actually quite, a, quite an ordeal. Um, we had, uh, had to move right around 70 head of horses. And so we did it in shifts. We brought like the, the yearlings and a few of the, the, the yearlings and two-year-olds came out on the first shift and uh, it took four days to get here. The new facility sits on 340 scenic acres and includes a state-of-the-art barn complete with foaling stalls and a veterinary lab. The team of horses pulling the wagon in parades and special events is called a hitch. We have the East Coast Hitch out in Merrimack, New Hampshire, the Midwest team out of St. Louis, and then the West Coast Hitch out of, out of Boonville here. And while 10 horses travel with each hitch, only eight pull the wagon. The Clydesdales can be seen at events throughout the United States and in many foreign countries, and they are quite busy. We have the three teams that are traveling, and each team travels usually between 30 and 40,000 miles a year, and they do about, about 300 appearances apiece. But not just any Clydesdale can be a Budweiser Clydesdale. I mean, first it has to be male. We, what we're looking for is the four white legs, the white face, and be a bay in color with a dark mane and tail. Um, right when it comes out of its mom, if you see a big, huge white spot or a, or a black leg, then you're, you're saying, you know, well, this, this probably isn't going to make a, a Budweiser Clydesdale. And not just any wagon can be a Budweiser wagon. Um, the wagon we have here is one of, one of our hitch wagons, and it's a 1902 Studebaker. Um, we have about 10 Studebaker wagons that, that Anheuser-Busch owns. Uh, this wagon is, will weigh about three and a half ton. Um, it's all original other than we did add, add disc brakes to it and we do have, have, have ball bearings in the wheels just for it to roll easier and to be able to stop better. The harness is all handmade from English leather and cost about $10,000 per horse. When the hitches travel is quite an impressive convoy. Um, when you see one of our hitches going down the road, You'll see them, there'll be three semis and a, and, a, and a small passenger van. The first truck you see is always the four, what we call the four horse. Four horses right in the front end of it. We have portable stalls that are in, that are in the back of it. So when, if we go up to a fair where we're in a tent or whatever, um, we're able to set up our own stabling. The next truck in line would be what we call the six horse. In it rides only the six horses. So front to back, it's, it's six head of horses. Um, and then the last truck you'll see is what we call the wagon van, which is all our harness and the wagon. The wagon has a fold down ramp in the back and it, and it, and it comes out through the back of the truck. So, um, and then of the, the course the little van is just to take the crew to and from the hotel. John grew up in the Southwest and trained thoroughbreds before coming to work for Budweiser. Now he prefers working with Clydesdales. Oh, you know, thoroughbreds anymore would probably kill me. The nice things with, 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 um, with, with Clydesdales is they're what they call them the gentle giants. And they're really nice to handle and sometimes you get really relaxed around them where you go to back to, say, a, a hot-blooded horse and they move pretty quick. <laughs> but what about the future of the Clydesdale Hitch now that Anheuser-Busch is owned by InBev, a Belgian company? You know, people still love us. We go, you know, coast to coast and, and, uh, and everybody recognizes you. Everyone knows the Budweiser Clydesdales. Um, so, yeah, no, I think it's as, it's as bright as it's ever been. For information about tours, go to www.warmspringsranch.com or call 1-888-972-5933.